Folding up the paraglider. Paragliders are meant to be folded up into a carry bag about the size of a large sleeping bag. There are several concepts to be aware of when folding the wing. When you lay it out, lay it out flat. If there is wind, lay it out lengthwise in the direction of the wind to make it easier to fold. Place the riser lines up on the wing material. Make sure they are all out from under it. Make sure there are no little twigs, seed, nor bugs in the air. Bugs will stain it. Make sure it is dry to prevent mold and mildew. When folding, the fewer the folds or wrinkles, the better for the wing. It is also not good to roll the wing too tightly. Place the risers together, rubber branded, or put one through the other and leave them together over one end of the wing, trailing edge or leading edge. I like to drop mine over the trailing edge. This is where you will need them when you go to launch. This way they are already there when you lay it out next time. So long as the riser's attachment ends don't go through any of the lines, you won't have any tangles when you go to use it the next time. The basic types of folds are the standard fold, the simple fold, the two-man accordion, the one-man accordion, and the field carry. This way you can get control of the wing with high winds. The one-man accordion. With the wing laid out, with the riser lines out from under the wing placed on top. The risers themselves placed together at one end. Take the wing tip and accordion it towards the center from outer edge to the center of the wing. At the center, clean up the folds. Then, fold the accordion in half. Then repeat this at the other end. When both sides are folded in the center, after you folded the other side in half also, when both sides are folded in the center, fold one side on top of the other. Roll it up from trailing edge to the leading edge with the riser lines inside the roll. Once again, you place the wing in its storage bag away from sunlight in a room temperature dry environment. This here shows how the one man accordion furls out or lays out for launch. You'll notice how quickly you can grab the tips and just throw them out. Once again, you'll notice that the riser lines are down at the trailing edge where you want them ready for launch. The field carry. You start the field carry by pulling the riser lines up into manageable size loops. Keep in mind also you want to have a firm grip on these lines in case wind was to catch the wing. It can give you a nasty rope burn. When you reach the wing, pull it up and together like a cast net lifting it up high when walking, making sure not to step on any lines or cloth. Also careful not to snag it on sticks, bushes, etc. The field carry is frequently used to move the wing back up the launch field if you have several failed launch attempts. It is also a way you will leave your wing if you are not launching it nor rolling it up. It's the easiest way to get the majority of the wing out of the damaging sun rays and protect your wing.